You're listening to Notes from Underground on WKCR 89.9 FM New York. I'm your host, Dylan Farley, and I'm joined in the station with my boy, Jaden. Jaden yes, X. X. What's up, boy? Jaden X. X here. What's up? Appreciate you coming to the station the second time, bro. Of course. Just dropped the album. Yes, or sir. dropped out the EP, I should EP say. The world is mine. Five. Yes, sir. Five. Yes, yes sir. sir. So I was really fucking with the album, and I wanted to get you in just to talk about, you know, after the fact, after yeah. you dropped it. Just talk mm-hmm. about it real quick. So. I bet so. You want me to talk about it, or you want to? No, nah, I, wanna... I got some questions for you. I Anything bet. you want to say about it first, though? Um, I'm going to say this. This is like my best work I ever made. Word. That's what's up. That's all I got to say. I feel that too. Yeah. I really, really mess with the album. Really, Appreciate really mess it. with the, the beats selection on it as well. The way you're coming out on each track. And mm-hmm. I, I felt like it was kind of like a um a musical trip in a way. Like you take yeah. us in the beginning, just, yeah. you know, talking your shit on those, you know, soul beats, mm-hmm. on, a, on a sample beats. Then you kind of ease into a little dance track with Showtime yeah. on that. And then you finish it off like the way you're supposed to with a nice, you know, send off track. Yeah, like uh, a little like quick outro. You know feel what that. I was really feeling the last one we were talking about earlier, Larry June type beat. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? yeah, like the um, alchemist shit. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. When you was doing that, when you were like developing this, um, is that what you wanted to happen? Did you want to take your listeners on a trip with this album, or did you just, you know, put these songs together? Let's, you know, um, it's a little bit of both, but mainly the the trip with the album. So awesome. like, I was, you remember like I told you last time, like mm-hmm. I want to show people I could really like rap on this shit and some different styles. So mm-hmm. that was the main thing. I was like, let me do some different shit, and like I did the different shit, and it worked well. And like now that I did like these songs over these like soul samples. Yeah, I got like a older audience now. Mm-hmm, like, for sure. it's weird. Like before, the other music I had, it would be like our age listening, and mm-hmm. like the older people were like, "Oh yeah, it's, like it's good." But like now, like I have like older people hitting me up and shit like that's that about it. So yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up for real. What was your? Uh, you said your main goal was to, you know make your audience bigger. What other goals did you have? You know, putting out this EP. Um, like proving myself, pretty much like proving that I could really like spit on so like certain shit just being different like proving that like uh like i want to say like not everybody could do what i did mm-hmm. as different not to be cocky but that's how i felt i was like certain people can't rap or just be or can't do Word. this so i'm like i could do it so i'm gonna put it out like, yeah. so people i can like be diverse you know, i was definitely messing style. with your lyrics on one of them jokingly you said you said i uh pull up all black for like bruce wayne last week was talking about how people like a wu-tang clan and you know other rappers they use like comic book references in their right. books what do you feel is the you know the crossover between you know comic books and uh hip-hop um shit it's a great crossover i'm in the comic books a lot i'm a like huge marvel fan DC too, Star Wars too, but it's a great crossover though. I like for sure. I like when I write lyrics and shit. Like a lot of times I've mentioned like or I reference like a superhero. Like mm-hmm. Bruce Wayne wasn't even my first. Like there's been times I put Spider Man or some some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, up. Yeah, that's something I always talk about a lot because I grew up with that. So I always talk about like comic books and shit like that. What are the other main influences that you had for this? You know, this EP. Um, definitely. Like any movies, any other, you know, songs and, and like albums you were listening to that really helped inspire what you made? Well, you definitely know one, the Wu Tang Show. For sure. That, for the sure. Wu Tang Show, um, Ghostface Killer Supreme Clientele album. Mm, for sure. Um, Dope. What's another one? Shit. Um, Lil Yachty's Let's Start Here. Mm hmm. That's like for a sure. drug album. So that's how I like. You heard Holster? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard yeah. Holster. Fire. You saw the video too? I didn't watch the video yet, actually. We watched watch that later. We watched that later. That's so watch hard. It. So, yeah, but um, those three right there, and then, like, that was, like, pretty much my influence right there. And um, a lot of Wu-Tang and, like, 90s hip-hop. Like, that's what's up. And Alchemist beats, too. Word. So, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Which one of these songs are we going to get a video for, bro? Um, definitely. I, I, need, I need a video of you and your girl for spending some time together. Yo, that's yeah. crazy. You said that because I'm already i already planning that out. Say that. Spend our time right. together. Just wait. Just wait yeah. on it. Just gotta Yo, wait that, on it. Just wait that song. And I think I'm going to do the one with Showtime. Give you what you want. Bet. So bet. Those two. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, before you dropped the EP, you played me a version of uh, Give You What You Want, I think. And uh, it was a pitch, the, the one the you put on the EP. Pitch. Yeah, yeah, the normal yeah. pitch. And the right. one on the EP, you, you sort of pitched down and uh, slowed it up a little bit. Right, right. What was the inspiration for that? Did you just, were you playing around with it? or I was playing around with it. Like, when I first made the song, I made this song a while ago. When I first made this song, I made, like, a, a slowed version of it. Word. And I didn't know what, I, they both sounded really good. And I didn't know what to do with it. And then I remember when I first played it for my girlfriend, I think I played her the the normal pitch. And she was like, oh, this is, like, really good. She was like, I wonder how it would sound if it was, like, slowed down. Mm-hmm. And I already had it. So I played it for her, and then she liked it a lot. And then as fast forward to now, um, she was, like, telling me that she thinks that I should put, give you what you want slowed, 
because I'm starting off with two tracks that's already normal pitch and it's kind of mm-hmm. fast. And if it changes into the other one, it's going to be like, oh, that's too fast. Like, slow it down a little bit. And I was like, okay, well, I see what you're talking about. Awesome. I just went with that. So, awesome. And it caught people off guard because, like, when it dropped, people were texting me like, oh, the slowed down version is fire, this and that. And it was like, it could really show I tried something different. Mm-hmm. Like, before in the normal pitch, it's like, yeah, I'm rapping on it and shit like that. But, like, now I'm rapping it with it pitched and it's like, Word. More experimental. Did you show your girl b- both versions of it? Or she told you maybe you should pitch this down. Did she give any tips on, it or did you just do that by yourself and showed it to her? Um, I already had the pitch version like, yeah, yeah, by yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. So when I played her the normal pitch, she said that I should do it, and I already had it. So I was like, oh yeah, I already did that. So Word. I'll play it, and that's what happened. Well, that's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, sincerely was the last song on the album. I thought it was a perfect ending for right. the EP. You feel me? Right. And like I said before, Larry June type vibes yeah. on it. I've been really <laughs> fucking with the Alchemist. I know you have too. Of course. Um, was this also your intention to finish up the song, the, the album like this? Did you make this song with the intention that's going to be the, the finish or the closer for this EP, or did you just choose it out of like a, a, a mixture of songs you made before? I made it. Um, that was my intention to make it as like the closing song, mm-hmm. and shit like that. Cause like I remember the last interview, I sent you four tracks, but I sent you a whole different joint. Word. That's because at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do for an outro. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm going to just send this for now. And then as time got closer, I was like, I got to make an outro. And Word. then I was just like, I'm not going to make something too long, just something short. Just a great way to end it up. That's fine. So, yeah, I, like that was my intention. And that's I, fine. I cooked it so up. So you made it within that week? That after yeah, I saw like, you? right. Uh, I want to say like maybe like two days after. Fine. Yeah, I was in my dorm. My roommates left. I was like, I'm about to make this shit real quick. That's and dope. Yeah, that's that's dope. I really like that joint. Yeah, that joint is fine. Bro. Yeah, Perfect I, ending, sincerely. I know. Appreciate it. Shit is dope. Shit is dope. Uh, what else can we look out for? Uh, album. album. Album time, yeah. So that was a little like introduction to show people what I'm going to be bringing to the table on the album. Fine. So I'm looking at the end of the May, end of May to release it, but you know, I'd be lying with release date sometimes. So if it's not by end of May, it'd probably be June, but definitely by the summer though. Perfect. May Perfect. to June. So that's when it You also be. talking about dropping merch with this EP. Right. What can people look out for that? Um, I'm thinking about See, I think I'm going to release the merch when I do this performance. Bet. So when this performance is all edited and stuff and I drop that, that's when the merch will be coming out. Say that. So you can give us a little, like, I don't know, visionary or, uh, you know, descriptive sneak peek of what it's going to look like. So what are we dropping? I got a black hoodie with the World is Mine logo right on the side. And Bet. it's going to be on the back, too. Hard. Then another version of that, but just a white T-shirt. Mm-hmm. Then I got this red long sleeve with, like, an angel holding a globe. And it says the World is Mine. And, like, Word. on the back, it has, like, a heart with, like, quotes. And it has, like, a... The quote said, um, I think, let me see, I'm going to pull it up on my phone, you on my real quick. No, you good. Yeah, pull, right, that, pull, pull, pull that, pull that joint up real quick. Yeah. We about to get into the performance after this. You ready for that joint? Of course, I'm ready. I like that. I appreciate you coming up to do that. It's going to be the first Notes from Underground performance on video. So. I appreciate you for having me. Let appreciate me get that it. real quick. Um, what the quote say? What the quote say? Okay. What the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world with no peace. Mm. So that's a red long sleeve. Like that. I yeah, like that. And then when the say that one more time. Say that one more time. You can. I, got you, I, I like got that. You. I like that. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Mm. So that's mm. going to be like, that's the EP merch. And then when the album drop, it's a whole collection. I'm trying to do everything. What, you, what, what quote is that? Where's that from? Is that from? Honestly, Hunter? I just looked it up on Google. Like, I just seen a quote and I was like, oh, like, I'm taking that. Like, <laughs> that's like, got, that's, that's some deep it. That's some deep stuff, though. Yeah. I like that. I like that for yeah. sure. Um, anything else you want to say real quick before we get out of here and do this uh, performance? Um, To everybody who's listening. Everybody who listened to the EP, and if you haven't listened yet, check it out. But to everybody who's listening right now, I appreciate you guys for all the support and love. Um, this is definitely my best work of music. Um, I feel like this one is just like opening like a lot of opportunities for me. This for sure. EP and shit, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, appreciate you for having me, bro. No, my real. pleasure, bro. Like, I really messed with the album, yeah, messed with the EP, it. bro. Yeah, it's I'm really glad tough. You like it, and um, album coming soon. May, Bet. end of May, end Bet. of May. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a man of my word. Say that, say that. Jaden XX, you know the best. You listen to Notes from Underground here on WKCR 89.9 FM. We out. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you.